welcome everyone to a new session of Teams in 20. So today, today's session is going to be about OneNote, is going to be an introduction to OneNote. So without further ado, we have our wonderful Sital again with us. Um, as you remember her, we, we delivered the wellbeing session as well. So really glad to have you back. So over to you, Sital. Perfect. Thank you. And I'm really glad to be back here again to deliver one of these uh, sessions. Uh, today will be an introduction to OneNote. I'll just do a quick introduction to myself. So I'm Sithal Champanaria. I'm a customer success manager aligned to healthcare in the UK. Um, this session is going to be uh, short and snappy. OneNote is so easy to get your head around and start using. Um, I'll do a little bit of an intro into what OneNote is if you've not come across it before, or you've not used it before. I'll do some basics on creating and getting started with OneNote and then just show you how you can collaborate with your team if you're using OneNote in Teams as well. Um, so if you haven't come across OneNote before, it is your digital notebook in Microsoft 365. So you can take all those ring binders, all those notes and post-it notes that you've got uh, dotted around your desk and put that into a digital form, which is uh, filtered by sections, pages. It's fully searchable, which means you're not having to go through uh, lots and lots of pages and files on your desk to find the information that you need. A brief overview of some of the uh, features within there. It allows you to stay organised. You can have a single notebook. You can have multiple notebooks for different projects, different areas, a personal notebook for your own um, information and also a shared notebook that can sit within teams for your team to use. Uh, you can if you've got a stylus or you use your finger, you can actually uh, draw on your notebook as well. So it allows you to annotate on images that you've got in there or just do some brainstorming activities. If you, it's your personal notebook, you can share that with other co-workers. And the great thing I love about um, that feature is that you can actually, uh, well, remember my words, you can actually password protect some of the sections in there. So you may want to protect some sections and then share others with your colleagues for them to add in comments and suggestions. You can add custom tags so the same way we would create a, a shopping list or mark something as important by putting a star next to it. You can actually do that in OneNote and then you can search those specific tags and you've got the option to create your own custom ones for something specific that uh, is important to you but not might not be generic or, or applied to others and then lastly you can actually add lots of different types of media in there as well so you can record audio notes you can add videos into there and you can add files in there that either um, come up as a link or you can copy them in as an image so you can annotate on top of those as well. Um, so without further ado, let's uh, switch over to a demo of OneNote then. So I'm just going to go into my demo tenant and open up OneNote here. So hopefully you'll be able to see that on your screen. Um, I've actually gone into Microsoft 365 and just searched for OneNote. And this is the landing page that I have here. Uh, but what I want to show you first is what it looks like in a team and where it sits. And then I'll come back to this page here. So I'm in Microsoft Teams. I'm just in a channel here. This one's for monthly meetings and you can add a OneNote tab across the top there. Really easy to do. You just click on the plus, search for OneNote. I can see that I've got it here. You can add that in. So if you've got an existing OneNote, you can add that in here or you can create a brand new one. So you're not limited to just having one for each team that you're part of. So I'm just going to come out of here and you'll notice that I've got one in here already, which is my uh, board meeting notes. And what I like about this is that it appears the same here as it does if I open up in the web browser or in a desktop version of OneNote. Um, and the one that we use um, quite heavily is uh, OneNote Windows 10 and it looks exactly like this. OK, so I'm going to switch over here and just show you how you can create a OneNote. So these are my recent ones. So the one I've just been into, I can see my own notebooks. I haven't got one here, so I'm going to create a brand new one. I'm going to call this one uh, Teams in 20 and click Create. Right, so I've got my brand new notebook. I can come in here and I can add sections. So this can be uh, background information, for example. And I'm going to create another section for um, webinars. And each section comes with an untitled page. So I pop my title at the top. I can say um, customer requirements for these sessions. 
and it's really easy to start typing in so I can um, gather information on what uh, sessions are needed and actually what I could do is create a bullet list but the tags that I mentioned are just over here so I can go in and add a custom tag. Um, I'm just going to add a couple more pages in so I might say here I'm just going to call this one page one for now page two and you can see that actually I'm, I can start to populate the different pages by adding in titles and any text that I want to underneath. What you can also do is drill down a little bit further. So if I right click on this one here, I've got the option to copy and move. So I might start typing into a page and realize that actually that sits under a different section and I can move that or copy that information across. And if you've got multiple notebooks, you can actually move and copy information across your different notebooks as well. So you're not limited to just that one that you're in. I can also make this a sub page so I can click into here and say I'm going to make this a sub page and this one a sub page and it will sit underneath the customer requirements. Really easy to do. And if I right click in this section here, I've got the option to rename. I can delete, I can move and actually I can apply specific colours to sections as well if they mean something else. Makes it really easy to find or group sections together that you might want to. OK, and then this one is just to copy a, a, a link to a section. So I've seen um, OneNotes that are quite extensive. You might want to create a bit of a contents page on the, on the top page and link to different pages or different sections in there. Um, the pages in here are infinite, so you can actually type and write wherever you want on there. You can change your font formatting. You've got some of those features and tools that we're used to seeing in terms of formatting. You can add indents, uh, paragraphs, but I want to show you some of the tags in here first. So if I click in, you can see I've got these tags that already exist and I can go in and create custom ones if I want. So I can mark something as important um, and I can say follow up with um, session on OneNote. Whoops, there we go. And I can continue typing add as many as in, in and as a one and what I really like about this one are the to-do list so I can actually um, action one action two and I use this heavily day in day out and you can actually tick off so it's quite nice and satisfac uh, satisfactory in, in the sense that when we've got them on paper copy it's quite nice to strike something off and say you've done it you can do that virtually as well uh, you've got the option of looking at some of the um, proofing in there and um, one of the other ones that I really like is dictation so if you have got some notes that you need to fill in I'll just see if this works if I'm in a meeting as well I'm going to click allow and it will start to type in everything I'm saying as it would do elsewhere oh it got a slight glitch there but it works the same way as dictation works across the 365 platform full stop <laughs> And it's nice and easy to edit. Um, I can go into insert. So just along this section here, I can create a table and I can actually insert files. So um, I talked earlier a little bit around annotating and drawing on top of some of the um, files you might have. So if I click into here and say I'm going to print something, I can come into demo. Here we go. I've got a job description and actually it will print that out as a document in here if you've got a pdf you that will appear in here as well and then what i can do is i can use my finger to draw and say i'm going to just highlight something put some additional notes in you can change the colors etc in here as well change the thickness and you've got some mathematical um, elements in here as well so if you do want to do some short calculations uh, one note will actually allow you to do that as well so okay um, and the other bits I would just want to show are the views that so you've got things like immersive reader, which again is across 365 suite. You've got the option to check accessibility if you are sharing your OneNote. Um, and if it is a OneNote that is your own, if you've shared pages in there, you'll be able to see other people that have commented or added any notes in there. So their um, initials will show up on the side there for you as well. Um, I skipped over on this side here, but again, you've got the option to insert links, 
pictures of things that are on your device, things that you find. It actually works really well on your mobile as well. So if you've got the mobile app on OneNote, if you're at a conference or an event of some sort, you can actually open up OneNote on your um, phone. You can snap a picture and it will come up on the screen and you can continue to take your notes. If you are in meetings, this is one of my favourite ones. Uh, clicking into meeting details if you're trying to keep on track of all the things that are coming up. You will need to sign in the first time, but it actually reads from your Outlook calendar as well. So I can click into today's meeting that I've got coming up and you can see that actually it's pulled through all of the meeting details as well. It will pull through um, information on who's in that meeting, the joining details, and you're ready to start making your notes. Any invitations, attachments are all visible there for you as well. I'm just going to switch over then and have a quick look at Teams and how you create those in Teams. So you'll see if I come into this one here, I've got all of the same options across the top there. You've also got the tell me what to do. And if you prefer to, you can actually open up your OneNote in your desktop or your browser. So that will allow you to open the team notebooks in here, plus your own personal ones. And these, like I said, are sat on SharePoint, they sit in your team. So these are the shared notebooks that everybody within that team has access to. Really easy to create and you can um, connect different OneNotes in here as well. If I just switch back to this one, I just want to show you how to switch notebooks because I realise I've missed that one. So across the top here, I've got my different sections. I have my pages contained within, but I can actually click through and open up all the different notebooks that I've got access to. So you don't have to move away from the platform or go back into Teams to open up a notebook. You can actually come straight into here. And if I click um, the board meeting one, you'll see that notebook opens up in here as well. And that's exactly the same as the one I've got in here. So it can be really, really valuable. And um, the last thing I'll mention on it before um, I move away is that your um, wiki pages that previously would have sat in Teams are being replaced with OneNote. So when you're in a Teams meeting and you've got your wikis open, they will all now sit in OneNote for you, making it all connected and allowing you to easily find all the information that you need. I'm just going to have a quick scan of my notes to make sure that I've covered all of the basics that I wanted to cover today. And Dari, if there's any questions in the chat you want me to cover, just let me know because I can't see that at the moment. Yes, we do have. Oh, go for it. So with password protected sections, if you forget the password, is there a way of removing slash changing the password as the owner of the notebook section? That's a very good question. I'm not quite sure fully how that works, but I'll go in and find out for you and I'll pop that in the chat afterwards. Right, so that was one. Using the Windows 10 version, is there a way to collapse the pages like in the app version? Sorry, just say that again for me. Using the Windows 10 version, is there a way to collapse sub pages like in the app version? Yes, you should be able to do exactly the same there. Um, mine is actually signed into my personal one, so I won't do that for now. But yeah, if you've got your subsections, etc. in there, you can do that in the desktop version. And we have one more. Is there any way to have a strictly more formatted page instead of infinite pages in OneNote? You can do, yeah. So if I come into um, this one here and I'm just going to see if I can find it in this version, but you can go in. Uh, it may not be in this online version. I know in the desktop version, you've got the option to one, create page templates. If you've got a certain uh, requirement or you're looking at maybe meeting minutes, you can create a page and you can set that as a template. So every new page you open in that win in that um, section will have the same stencil and template in there. And obviously you've got the option to also create pages where you can have lines or grids in there as well. I don't think there's a way that you can limit the size of the page. So if I was to scroll across further to the right, it will allow me to continue scrolling across to the right. But you can set those templates so every page within a certain section follows that template. We have one more question, if that's OK. Yeah, go for it. Is there a way to keep the section or page navigation tab down the left of Teams open as when you type now it currently closes? So this section here? I think so, yes. 
Yeah, so you can, you can collapse and you can open them up. So is there really just a safe space? If you've got a screen with lots of different things happening on there, or you've got a lot of information on your OneNote, you might want to close and collapse that rather than having it open all the time. Lovely. And the one thing that I realised that I missed in my notes that I really want to mention is the option to be able to search. So one of the things that I find really frustrating, I love sometimes scribbling down notes uh, by hand, but then I find that I'm flicking through lots of notebooks or looking at, you know, one from six months ago to try and find key information is the search facility in there. So this is one of the biggest benefits, I think, for here that you can actually just search any keywords you can search across your multiple pages sections and I know in the desktop version you can search across multiple uh, notebooks and search specific tags as well and it will take you to those pages where you're looking for that key information I'm just trying to see if there's anything um, I had specifically mentioned there we go so I click um, teams if I if you've got an extensive notebook it will take you to the different pages and highlight those keywords that you're looking for as well so you don't have to scroll through all the different pages to find anything that you've marked for example as important it will do that for you Right, any more questions before I hand back over to you, Daria? Doesn't seem so. Perfect. OK. So let me click across and hand back to you. But I really appreciate the questions. And thank you so much for listening. So thank you so much for joining today. Thank you for the session. It was great for me as well to watch it. Um, so a bit of a spoiler alert for next week, we're going to have an introduction to loop components. Um, I'm I'm very excited about this. Actually, so this is a tool that I use constantly and it excites me every time I speak about it. So if you if you'd like to spend your lunch with us next week, this is what we're going to cover. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much.